What's up, guys? So today we're going to have a little discussion video. I know these videos are not very popular, but you know it is what it is. We have to have them. We've, we've got to we've got to discuss. We've got to talk. Um, I will be going over the giveaway um, that was on the last survey, and I will be going over the responses. So um, we'll get into that in a sec. But so if you didn't see one of my last videos, I'm not sure which one it was, but I, I introduced a calendar, and let me bring it up. So this was the calendar that I I'm pretty sure I talked about earlier in the month. And we are currently, uh, today I'm uploading this, is the 18th, so we are at the end of Double Drops. It's been pretty fun, it's been pretty cool. I haven't gotten anything crazy myself. I mean, this is kind of spoilers, because you're seeing, I mean, you're seeing me get keys, so you can expect there to be a key opening very soon. It just made sense to kind of do, it was added to the, the um, uh, to Trader Stan's shop, the teleport, so I figured why not, I don't need money, and I, I pretty much made like half of it back just from cash drops, so. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, I should have been, probably been doing something more efficient. I don't know. I guess double drops doesn't really help as an Iron Man because, like, I, I mean, for the most part. There's some drops that would, but, eh. Um, I just decided it to AFK here. But when we also got the update I'm working on in the background. But, um, anyways, I'll get back to the main topic of what I'm trying to talk about. Um, so we have double, uh, double BI weekend next weekend, um, which is going to, you are going to get double points and then double rewards. Um, so, that's, so that'll be fun. Uh, elite members will get four points. I, uh, I know people have asked about that. And then the next weekend is raid points. But um, So what I want to do is I want to have a at least once a month, towards the end of the month, I want to have um, a daily discussion day. And basically what this will be is we'll just go on we'll just go on Discord. It'll be all on Discord. And uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be in game too, so I'm sure there'll be back and forth. It might be easier on Discord just because people can get longer <laughs> messages out without having multiple people interrupt them, so we'll, we'll definitely do it on Discord. Um, I want to just sort of talk about things. We'll talk about the state of Revival, we'll talk about what we like, what we don't like, we'll talk about anything we think needs to be talked about if we think there's a certain issue. Um, I know the economy one that is one that people love to, f to freak out about. People, people genuinely enjoy freaking out about it, but we can talk about it, we can discuss it, and that'll be the time to do it. Um, I, I, well, I feel like one of the issues that people bring up all the time is the lack of information, um, there's no communication, or it's harder to get communication. We don't really have a community manager. The reason we don't have a community manager is because no one is there to do it, right? I know, like, you think Steven, well, St if Steven wants to do it, he can do it, but, you know, he, I mean, he's got, I'm sure he's got other responsibilities. He's not online doing it. I mean, we could make, I, I don't know if I feel about making a helper, just promoting them all the way up to that rank. Um, so there's really no one to do the job. There isn't anyone to do the job. And I've given many people the opportunity to do the job, and some people have done it better than others. It's really, like, it's it's up to that person, you know. If someone if someone wants to do it on my staff team and you're watching this video, let me know. You can send me sort of, like, a mini application. I'm talking about on my staff team. If you're not on my staff team, I'm not going to just promote you to admin spot right away. But, um, you know, I think it's something we need, but it's just it's one of those things where if there's not a person for the job, there isn't a person for the job. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, and so you kind of have to rely on me in these videos. That's your only source of information. I'm the only developer. I'm the only one that really has any clue what's going on um, in terms of what the updates are going to be, what the thought process behind updates, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I make these videos, and I try to put as much information out there. But people miss videos. They either are not interested in watching them. Um, or, you know, some people don't even know I have a YouTube channel that, that could possibly play the server. Um, there's the Discord, which, you know, can be hit or miss because there's so many messages that... Hey, Jizz! Jizz, Jimson. There's so many messages that sometimes you'd miss things that were important, even though we have so many different sections for it. But um, the point is, like, even though there is outlets for the information, a lot of it just either... I, I, I don't know if it's people just refusing to be informed, because I do feel like that is an issue. Some people would just prefer to not to not be informed and to complain about things rather than be informed and to know what what you know why it isn't working or or or, or any of the specifics so i don't want to try to i don't want to give people those excuses you know i don't want that to be a logical excuse oh well i didn't see the video so how am i supposed to know i didn't see the discord post you know we want to try to get the information out there and that's that's the goal so once a month towards the end of the month this month we're gonna be doing it on the 24th so the 24th which is a saturday around 1 p.m is when i'll start it's going to be really, um, we'll have a, se a separate section for it on the Discord. Um, it's only going to be used for that day, and we'll just have sort of a couple topics, and then people can jump around and get their opinions out. Um, I will say that if you're, if you're going to participate in one of those, because I know not everybody cares. Um, most people you know, might just read the messages and not participate, and that's completely fine, whatever you want to do. But if you are going to participate, 
Um, you have to, I mean, I think the thing that's really, like, really annoying with a lot of the people you have to deal with on servers is that they don't, they don't, they're not willing to change their opinions. They have their opinions and they believe in their opinions so strongly and they'll refuse to change it. Even if you, even if you bring out, like, all the facts, they'll, knowing that they'll never change their opinion. So it's just not worth it to talk to people like that. And I try myself not to do that. I try not to be that way. Um, just recently with the um, the vial of water, or not the vial, the potion, the noted potion prayer thingy. Um, so I was really against it. I thought it was, I felt like it was cheating and it just kind of made the mode easier. But, um, so that was my stance. That's why I never added noted prayer potions or anything like that into this, onto Revival. Um, and people who were for it pointed out the fact that it actually was on old school. And that was, and then I, you know, once, it, once, once I found out it was on old school, I decided to make that change. And that's been in game ever since, right? You just have to be willing to accept other people's ideas. Even if you necessarily don't agree with them, you have to be, I have to know when I'm talking to someone that, like, there's a chance that we'll meet common ground, right? That's, that's the whole point, right? You hope that you're going to, I'm going to have something that, that could persuade him to come to my side, or he could say something that would per persuade me to come to his, you know, to his side. But I need to have faith that that's going to happen. And I feel like with some people, that's never happened, no matter how many times I've talked to them. And that's why I'm at a point where I just don't want to talk to people anymore. I, I don't, I really, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem worth it because, I, you know, there's some people really value the information. And I know it's a small minority, but some people value the information and I try to get it out there. But it's just like, at this point, it's like, I don't, some people just don't even like listen to the videos. If they don't listen to the videos, but they still are like on the discord yelling about problems but they don't they didn't watch my video because i mean I'm, I'm assuming they don't care about the server if they're not playing it and they're just talking about it on the discord um so they don't watch my video they don't know my opinion on it and they so they just sit there and shit on everything on the discord and it just gets really annoying so if you're kind of come to the discussion that's all i ask for is that you're at least willing to t you're you're willing to the idea of finding middle ground right so yeah, we'll have some discussions. I'll probably give away some goodies. It should be a lot of fun. And I want to do that every month, at least one day, just so I mean everybody knows for 100% fact that they're being heard, right? I'll be there. I'll be replying to people. Um, you, you know, you know, whatever your opinion is, you'll, you'll at least know that I, it, I heard it. And then if, if there is a big, massive discussion, I'm sure we'll talk about you know, some of the controversial topics like gambling and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and you know, you know, like I said, I mean, maybe we can find common ground. I, I'm not, I mean, really, with gambling, I've already said I want it. I don't know why gambling keeps coming up. It's like it's a weird one because I've already said like I'm willing to. We're doing. We're gonna do another attempt with it, most likely through Duel Arena, and then the the Duel Goblin idea, um, if that ever comes to fruition. I've also been thinking about doing an automated NPC for um, rock paper scissors. So I, there's a couple ideas. I don't know why everyone is like still latching onto the idea that. Um, I'm against it. I know people who are against it um, have their reasons. I, you know, obviously you know where I stand on it. I've made many videos about it. <laughs> I made one recently. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, I think that we'll have some good discussions about that. And um, I, I, you know, we'll just have to see what happens in game. Like I said, with those updates, before we get you know some better opinions and how it goes. And hopefully it goes well. Like uh, like I said, most times we've ever had gambling, um, it's gone horrible dicing didn't make it 24 hours so hopefully we'll you know hopefully we can figure out exactly what we need to do and i think i and i think i've learned a lot from it i, I think having any sort of trust involved is is not is not going to ever happen again like there's never, never going to be any forms of of trust that um you have to you know where you have to trust someone that they're not going to scam you everything will either be automated or like a you know dual arena system where you you know you put up their items they put up their items and whatnot so so yeah we'll have tons of discussions that'll be on the 24th around 1 p.m. It'll be in the Discord. Um, I've rambled enough about that now. Let's get into the survey results. We'll see what people have been saying. Um, and I will do that giveaway, so I I'll, guess I'll, I'll do that. Uh, we had 61 responses. I don't know if all 61 people gave it a username, because some people will fill out surveys if they don't play the server. And I appreciate that. I appreciate people who, who know that they might never play the server again or they've never even played it, but they're at least, you know, trying to help it from a you know, from an outsider's perspective, you know, it's good to get their opinions if they haven't played the server much, but their only opinion is the random videos they watch in mine. You know, that's helpful. Uh, so we have, if you recently left, um, we have, most of them are specific. We have 20 with specific, I don't know, my, my, let me try to find a better way to set up my camera. I'm like, I'm like off center, so that's why it's weird. This is still going to be kind of weird, but. So, IRL, 10, you know, I, I really just wanted to figure out what exactly is taking people away. Um, if it's, you know, other... I, I actually thought other servers would be a lot higher. Other servers and other games. But those are one of the... Like, those are the two lowest. I mean, I guess not the two lowest. Too easy. 
that's that's interesting like a trading like a gambling I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna get into the I'm not gonna let me read some of them before I show it because you know people might have personal information so let me look so it looks like a lot of people put never left which you know that makes sense if you didn't leave um, some people put uh, IRL stuff uh, army I don't know if that's raw or if there's other people in the army um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how much of you can see you can see that but uh, but yeah, I'll just uh, let me just slide back over here. Um, you do get those responses. I think that's funny that they spend the time to do that. I don't know if you know this or not, but your 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 information isn't like it's not private. You're giving me your information if you fill out this survey. I assume if in the fine print of this website, uh, it tells you that. I'm not sure, but I can find I can find out who this is. And, I mean, let's find out who it is. Yeah, all of his answers are about the same. He uses the N word a lot. That's his favorite. Aha, uh -huh. it's Skies. That's fun. I think he's I think he's already IP'd, or UID'd, so I can't really do anything about that. But, uh, hi Skies, how you doing, bud? Nice to see you're still kicking. So the next question was just about um, what your favorite update was. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know I, don't, I don't need to go over everybody's specific answers. That. That's for me personally. I'm just going to, you know, go look through that and see what um, what is interesting. If there's any specific kind of content that stands out, that's what I'm going to look for. So then the next question was the same. What was your least favorite um, update or change? So that's good. Uh, that's a good one. We'll look at that and figure out what people might have not liked. Uh, which of these is most important to you? That one, I suppose, does is important. Uh, frequent updates is 16. Community 17. And fun gameplay 14. So I mean, those are the, the big three. PK and gambling. You can see it's a pretty small majority that's even interested in that. At least in terms of the 60 people who uh, answered and one person skipped it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, just, just. You know, since I am one man and this is a one man operation, it's good to know where, where priority should be. And I, it seems like the frequent updates and trying to focus more on community interaction is, is, is obviously important. And with fun gameplay, I mean, those two can, can totally, you know, should normally go together. So then on a scale of 1 to 10, how uh, fun do you find Revival compared to other servers? It got a 79. I don't know why I'm trying to hide that as if I, as if I was going to lie. I got a 79, so that's pretty interesting. I'll have to look at the individual responses and see how many people voted 10 and and how many zero. But um, the average number being 79 is pretty cool. The this the even though it's supposed to be one to 10, it does it off of 100 no matter what. Like even though I set it to one in 10, it still did it 100. So that's weird. Is this no? This one still did it by 100 as well. One to 10. How hard do you find revival compared to other servers? 42. I suppose that's about what you'd want. You'd want it somewhere in the middle. So yeah, I got. I mean, I. I, I wouldn't want it to be harder than other servers. I certainly wouldn't want it to be harder. I would think I would think roughly the same or, or even maybe... I wouldn't think easier because I feel like there's easier servers that exist and I wouldn't want to compete with them. I, I think I think we're just right around the middle in 42. I don't know. Does that, are, I wonder if that means, like, if I should interpret that as it's not hard. I'm assuming I should, right? T 10 being a lot harder, 1 being a lot easier. So, yeah, 4... 42, I, I, so it is slightly easier than it, maybe it should be. I guess that's what we're looking for. If we're trying to get true 50, make the game slightly harder. <laughs> so the next one is just, um, how would you agree with these statements? And um, I think most people agree that a, a big part of why they play private servers is easy and high-end content. I think that's agreed. How would you agree to stay, man? I play private servers to gamble, PK. We have 8 strongly agree, 8 agree, 18 that are neutral. 11 that disagree, and 15 that strongly disagree. So there's definitely more people that... I mean, that's, that's really the proof in the pudding. A lot of a lot of the argument for gambling is that a lot of players want it and a lot of players like the content. But this is an, an, an anonymous poll, pretty much. I mean, only I know the names of the people. But uh, it is anonymous to you guys. Um, so, I mean, this is proof right here that there's more people not interested in it than there isn't. But, I mean, that doesn't completely outweigh these people. I just think we just have to do it smart. We have to do it right. Um, and, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We've we tried it before. Well, I'm sure we might try it again. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, so then 1 in 10 is uh, scale. How, how much faith do you have in Revival is longevity? 79. That's that's pretty good. I appreciate that. I expect that to be lower. Because I feel like I... I think... I feel like I don't get respect sometimes. So this, that, I, mean, I appreciate this. I appreciate the fact that, that, that uh, people are showing some respect. We got 79. I'll happily look at that. But, um, yeah, that'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any, oh wait, we didn't do we didn't do for the winner. <laughs> okay, so there's 58 responses. I don't know if there's any trolls. I didn't really read through all of them yet. Um, and then there's some people who don't, like I said, don't leave their username. All right, so I have the random number generator ready. Let's switch it to 58. 
and we will generate. That was unintentional. <laughs> 20, so we will go to number 20. Wow, that is that is really funny. Uh, so the person who won was was Skies. <laughs> Congrats, Skies. All you gotta do is log in, buddy. That's all you have to do. If only you could log in. If only you could log in, you would receive this uh, nice uh, sampler pack. Um, so that's really funny that he won. Or would have won. Obviously, I'm not going to give it to him. He couldn't claim it even if he wanted to. Uh, so we'll move to Canal. Canal, uh, you are the winner. You are the person that is right above it. So you are technically 21. Um, yeah, congrats, man. 